What is progressive elaboration? In this session, I will define the concept of progressive elaboration and the rolling wave concept. I will discuss this concept in different project environments. The principle of progressive elaboration. When we start with a project, the information we have about the totality of the project is very limited. We have a macroscopic view of what the project should look like at the end when it is completed. There is a high level of uncertainty because there are still many unknowns. Once we start planning, more and more details become available. Progressively, more is known about the project and the details of the project unravel. At the end of the planning step, we may have discovered many of the initial unknowns. Projects are done in different planning windows. This is the idea behind progressive elaboration. One of the applications of progressive elaboration is the rolling wave approach. We cannot plan everything from the beginning of the project. We plan with planning horizons. On the graph on the right, you see our project manager starting with the project to climb this mountain. You see, there is a certain field, a certain horizon that is available for the project manager and about which information can be deducted at the beginning of the project. However, even in the climbing phase, you see some parts that are not in the line of sight of the project manager. These elements are unknown at the moment the project manager starts the climb the mountain. And of course, Everything that's behind the mountain is for 100% unknown. It can only be detected, can only be evaluated once the project manager reaches the top of the mountain. So there is the planning horizon, which shows only the available information and the rest will come later when the project manager is progressing in the project. Rolling wave approach, when you're planning a project, you get more information the farther you go, step by step. So you will only be able to plan the next phase when you're seeing the next planning horizon. We can apply this concept in different environments. In a deterministic environment, all is planned in detail for each phase of the project. We have typically a Gantt chart and we have a limited flexibility because the planning and replanning of the project is very complex. Changes are discouraged because of the complexity and when we have a change, it may lead to many possible new errors in the planning of the project. Adaptive environments are made for environments in which we expect more changes. In fact, typically they are used in environments when we start a project and we really don't exactly know where we want to end up. What do we have to do? So in fact, when you have a the adaptive environment, you typically use a board, a scrum board, in which we have on one side the backlog of the different tasks that have to be completed, the tasks that are going to organize, that are going to be completed in the next sprint, are put in the column sprint, and they are moved to the to-do uh, column, once they are ready to start working on. When the people are working on the tasks, they are in the doing column 
and finally when they're completed we put them in the column done. You see that on some of those tasks or stories that we have put some labels. These labels indicate that there is something difficult or that there is a problem with this typical story and that the team has to resolve it. This type of programming, this type of planning is very flexible because a sprint is a planning for one week, two weeks, sometimes one month. But what happens if the sprints become longer and longer? We get back to a deterministic environment. On the other hand, when we have a deterministic environment where we have a very short planning horizon, we come back to the idea of sprints. So, this is the end of this session. We applied the concept of progressive elaboration. We looked at the rolling wave concept and we determined how these concepts are used in deterministic and adaptive environments. See you at the next session. Have a nice day.